Hey guys, it's Lydia. If you're new here, hi, welcome to my channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a quick tutorial on how to curl your hair using a straightener. I've seen a lot of videos on this, but a lot of them are lengthier and they don't show you the different ways you can do it. In today's video, I'm gonna show you a couple different ways to curl your hair using a straightener and you can just go with whatever technique works best for you. And I'm also gonna show you how to style curtain bangs. I also have medium length hair with layers, not intentional layers, bleach breakage layers. I'm gonna show you how how I section and just kind of do it. It's just my natural hair right now. Also, when I curl my hair, instead of going different directions, I like to do the left half this way and then the right half this way. So that's what we're gonna do here. Just do whatever you feel like it feels right to you though. I'm just gonna take a small section from the back here. What I'm gonna do is take my straightener. I like starting with my left side. I angle it this way. I'll take the section, hold my hair like this and slowly rotate it down and slowly keep moving it down. And then it will just kind of turn out into a curl like this. So we're gonna try that way again. We're gonna brush it out after, so it's not gonna be a super, super tight curl. Take another small section, about an inch. Upside down straightener, rotate it, grab it with your other arm, keep twisting, and let it pull. There we have some light curls here. Do one more. Grab it, twist, and pull. Now, if you go faster, it'll be a tighter curl, and if you go slower, it'll be a looser curl. You can see, I kind of went a little slower that time. It's not as tight. Another way you can do this is by clamping the bottom here. So the curl's not gonna go all the way down to the end of your hair. This will make it stop here to give more of a beachy wave. If you have shorter hair, this might work best for you. Clamp the bottom and slowly twist up going the direction you want your curl to go. Then you're just gonna hold it here for a few seconds and then unclamp and release. This isn't gonna be as tight of a curl as you can see. It's definitely more of a looser wave. Personally, I don't love doing it this way. It takes a lot longer. Now, another way you could do it. I have really thin hair, so I have a lot of trial room here. I'm gonna take more of the bottom section. With the twisting method, you can take it, flip it, and just twist, but then stop before you get to the end of your hair. It will give the straight end opposed to, as we see back here, curly end from the first one. Here we have a lot of different curls going on. It's kind of nice though, because I find if you do different methods throughout when you're doing your hair, your curls won't all bunch together. If you want it to be like that, fine, but I personally do like doing a couple different methods throughout my hair. I'm gonna finish up this side and get to the front. I'll show you how I do it this side. I left the front pieces here, so I'll show you how I do the front pieces. Now, if we're doing this side, the way I grab the iron is a little bit different. So depending on how high your heat setting is, it's gonna differ on how long you have to hold it for. It's a lot of trial and error, but once you get the technique, it's a lot easier. We're gonna take a small section like this. I'm gonna take it upside down, twist it once and just keep rotating it as I'm pulling it down. There we go. That is what it looks like. We'll try it again. Small section. Take the straightener upside down. We're going away from our face. Rotating it down will go a little faster this time. There we go. I'll try it without doing the end, which I think honestly looks the best. Change the way I like doing it better. And we'll just stop here, leave the end, a nice wave. So now that we're doing the front, I want to really take the time to make sure I'm starting the wave where I want it to kind of fall in front of my face. I like to have the wave start right here to kind of give me that swoop. We'll do the front piece. Now we're going to do the bangs. So first what I like to do is I always straighten them. I know some people just like to straighten their bangs. It's not me. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the straightener. It's so hot, I always close my eyes because there's so much smoke. Start about an inch away, twist it once, and pull like that. Pull it where you want it to swoop. It will naturally just fall and sit there, as you can see. We'll do the same for this side. Pull, and just swoop it where I want. And then it just naturally sits like that. So we're gonna brush it out. And sometimes I'll go back in and just touch up any of the waves up here. So here I'm noticing the sections a little 
sticking together. So I'll go in and add some more dimension. So maybe I'll stir the curl a little higher just to kind of break up those pieces and to add a little more volume. So we'll do the same with this side. In, twist, twist. And there we go. Lots of volume. And then we'll go in and kind of straighten the ends a little. And there we go. That is how I give my hair volume and curl with a straightener. All right, you guys. Well, that was everything for this video. I know it's a super quick one. I just wanted to make it really effective. This way you can learn the technique and then go practice it and figure out what works best for you guys. I post new videos every Wednesday and Saturday, so make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.